Okay, so the um, last video was uh, basically an introduction to Ionic 2. Um, so we talked about what Ionic is actually made of. And uh, in this video, we'll be um, trying to build um, or set up Ionic uh, environment. Um, we'll only be setting up um, the basic environment for Ionic. Um, we won't be setting up um, Ionic environment in such a way that you can start uh, building app onto the phone. Um, you will need an Android uh, and an um, iOS SDK for that, but we are not going to go into, into that for the time being. Um, so you can click on this link, uh, this button over here, and it will take you to the current version um, that is Ionic 2 Docs. So if you click on this one, it's going to actually take you um, to Ionic 1.3 Docs, which is not what we are trying to create. So we want to go into this particular doc. Um, um, this is uh, Ionic V2, um, and you can click on Get Get Started. So the first thing that you have to do is to create uh, or to install Ionic Beta. So as I said in the last video, Ionic is actually in its in its beta stage. Ionic 2 is actually in its beta stage. So if I do an Ionic minus V over here, it is going to uh, it is going to um, show the current version that I have installed. So I have installed Ionic 2.0.0 beta 32 this is not actually ionic version it is ionic cli version so um, basically uh, you have two things one is you have ionic and you have ionic cli so the one that you see over here is actually the ionic cli um, but if you go to ionic um, github dot uh, com slash thrifty it, it if you go to the repository um, this is uh, their repository and um, there is one branch over here which says uh, uh, branch 2 this is for um, this is for uh, ionic 2 and if you go to the releases there um, you could see that it has uh, it has release um, for beta 0, 0.0. 0. Uh, beta 10 uh, which is uh, which is a current version of ionic that we have um, the one that you see over here is actually um, ionic cli version so you shouldn't be confused with uh, which version you are using? Uh, um, so I'm using beta 32, and uh, the Ionic version is uh, uh, beta 10. Um, now I'll also show you what version of uh, a node that I'm using. I'm using 6.2.2, and npm minus v would uh, um, <coughs> would let you know that uh, I am using npm version 3.9.5. Um, so this is my current environment. Um, now uh, you need to also install um, what is called as Cordova. Um, so you can do that by um, writing the typing the command npm install Cordova minus uh, g. So when you install this, um, it's basically trying. You are basically installing a wrapper kind of thing, um, which is going to convert your uh, HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS into your <coughs> Android or your iOS or your Windows application. <coughs> so Cordova is actually uh, an important part in in uh, in hybrid app development. Your phone doesn't your your hybrid app that you uh, write using Ionic or whichever framework um, you write in doesn't have the capabilities to access the phone feature. For example, if you want to, if you want to access the camera of the phone, um, a, a hybrid app like Ionic cannot access it. So what basically Ionic does is Ionic is Ionic will use um, APIs, uh, basically JavaScript APIs provided by Cordova, and it's going to get the uh, camera for uh, um, the app. So it is Cordova is a, is is that which will act like a middleman between the phone and the uh, and our hybrid application. So um, yeah, so basically that's that's about Cordova. So I'm I'm installing Cordova. Um, yeah. Okay, so I have a problem here. Um, I don't have access. Um, so I should be running this as sudo npm install minus g Cordova. Now I've let this install. I hope it won't take too much time. Yeah. Okay. By the time this is uh, moving, um, working, let's let's uh, talk about something else. Um, I said Ionic is not just uh, um, Ionic has um, Angular two installed in it, 
I mean Ionic works on Angular too. Now another cool feature is TypeScript. Um, TypeScript. Uh, TypeScript is a it's a wonderful way by which you could actually uh, write JavaScript. Um, it brings brings type um, to your variables. Uh, if that that doesn't make any sense, um, just just ignore it for the time being. You know it will make a lot of sense when we start writing code. Um, in addition to that, we are also using SASS, which is SAS. Um, <coughs> SAS is basically a CSS preprocessor. Uh, what it means is that you don't write um, CSS like what you used to write in Ionic one. Um, instead, you you write um, SAS file, and SAS file gives you a lot of options. You can declare variables. Um, you can uh, you know just nest um, um, different classes uh, inside each other just by putting braces. Um, there are so many other things that SAS can do for you. Altogether, it makes CSS into kind of a programming language. Um, yeah, so that is uh, that is really really uh, interesting. Um, so and it comes with this. Um, <coughs> It also comes with so many other things, so you will see um, in the coming videos. So we just installed um, Cordova, and let's see what version of Cordova we have right now. Um, Cordova minus V is going to give me that the current version of Cordova that I'm using is 6.3.0. So this is my environment. Now I'm going to install um, my first Ionic uh, 2 application. So I'm going to create a folder called KDIR. Um, tutorials and then I'm going to cd into that um, <coughs> now I'm going to come type in the command ionic start um, tutorial and then I'm going to type in v2 so yeah uh, minus minus v2 so basically what this does is it is asking ionic um, to create um, a, uh, an app um, name called tutorials and it is asking Ionic um, it, sh it should not create um, this app using Ionic v1 instead it should use v2 that is Ionic 2 and uh, yeah so that's basically what Ionic um, what this command is all about so yeah so what what it is basically going to do is uh, it's going to download a set of files um, yeah it's going to download a set of files uh, from um, from GitHub and from the Drifty uh, repository that you saw over here, and it's going to set up everything for us. Um, so this is usually taking a lot of time. Um, I hope this is because this is currently on, on development under development. So what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to pause this video for the time being, and then when everything is downloaded, we'll come back and see what what all things that happened. So it's starting to download things. Um, now one thing I missed out completely is that um, you need to have git installed. Uh, so if you do a git, um, you know it should it should work. So you need to have git installed. Otherwise, uh, you know these things will fail. Um, so yeah. So basically, you need to git have git. So kind of git is kind of the default thing these days. Everybody have it. So that's probably one reason why I forgot to talk about that. So I'm gonna pause this video for the time being and then come back when the download is complete. Okay, so now um, everything is uh, downloaded, everything is set up. Um, now we just added an iOS platform by default, so which means that I am all set to build uh, my uh, app on iOS platform. Um, it just uh, installed Ionic over here. Um, you know, it's it's saying that uh, I could do an Ionic serve or Ionic run iOS um, or Ionic run. Android and um, this would open up an Android SDK, uh, Android emulator. Um, so we'll see all that um, pretty soon. So we will open up our uh, Sublime editor. Uh, this is my favorite editor. So I'll open this, uh, open our, uh, uh, yeah, where is it actually? Okay, straight. Um, okay, I don't know where I actually created that, so let's let's see if it is in the home folder. Um, yeah, I, uh, so this is our uh, um, this is our uh, app um, tutorial. Now this is um, all that you can find in an Ionic 2 application. 
So you have an app folder, you have a hook folder, um, node modules, platform, plugin, resources, typing, www directory. So if you look into the app folder, it has an app.ts file and theme and pages. So basically, you will be writing all your code inside this folder called app. Now, when you write, uh, after writing your code inside app.ts, you run an ionic command and everything will be compiled and it will reach this folder called www and your app will run from this particular folder so even though you write things over here um, it actually runs from this particular folder so keep this in mind um, because uh, in future when we start writing our uh, code um, some of the URLs will not be referring to this particular folder it will actually be from the www folder or the folders inside that um, node modules basically it's uh, it's the packages that uh, it is the dependencies that Ionic 2 has um, um, then platform is basically um, iOS platform um, if I want I can add Android platform also so basically if you want to create if you want to build Android app you need to add add platforms for Android um, Windows um, if you want to do that you need to add Windows platform plugins um, Plugins are basically, um, as I said, um, we have Cordova installed. So now, uh, if you want to console um, a particular thing, um, you need to have um, the console plugin. So these kinds of things are already taken care of by Ionic. Um, we don't have to worry about that. Um, resources, um, we'll just leave it for the time being. Typings also, we'll leave it for the time being. We'll see what exactly that is. Um, I don't want to confuse you with that. And www folder has one file called index.html so this is the entry point of our app so which means that when you when you actually open your hybrid app um, this html file runs and this html file has a bunch of javascript files which will actually start our application now our application is going to run inside this um, custom element called ion app so as uh, this comment says this is ionix root component so your Ionic app is essentially running inside this uh, element. Um, <clears throat> now other than that, uh, you have what is called as package.json. Um, package.json, um, if you know, uh, if you have uh, ever installed a node module, you know that package.json is a kind of uh, the file that holds the dependencies, the dev dependencies. Um, so everything that comes under um, uh, node modules is actually there over here um, as dependencies. Um, dev dependencies also comes um, here then you you write code to our plugins here and that is basically what you see inside uh, the plugin folder so you can, you can see that Cordova plugin console is here and that the same is written over here so when you install <coughs> if you want to install um, new packages you can just add that over here and then do an npm install and then it will automatically get um, added over here and if you want to give this um, to somebody else you you can just you don't have to tell him that uh, you need to install uh, this um, new plugin you can just um, uh, you know if you have updated this package.json it will be automatically installed for him so this is uh, really useful and handy yeah so this is the basic folder structure um, I think I'll end this tutorial for the time being and then in the next video we'll we'll start um, you know really start um, writing some code um, one last point that I wanted to talk about is name you can define the name of your application here um, and also a description and you should also have a version somewhere here uh, I'm not sure where that is but usually you can define a version somewhere um, but uh, but it's not actually seen over here, uh, but let's not worry about that for the time being. So thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.